Legends, make some noise! Whoa, Nico Alexandro! Yeah. Nico, Angelo. Happy birthday, Doris. <laughs> Have a best kick to the face. I think I might prefer a card and a cake, Joe. Potentially. Now, Claire, fill us in. What did Nico, Angelo do earlier tonight? Well, Nico, Angelo came in. Interrupted the match between Lycos Gym and BDSM and basically turned the whole match around, Joe. It was a disgraceful display and now Nico Angelo is on his own, but he's not on his own because Lycos Gym are to the side here. I can't imagine them not getting involved. They look like they're primed and ready. I kind of fear for Doris here. I'm not sure it's going to be a happy birthday for him. Look at that though. Man like Doris on his birthday. He did get all of that lariat. Oh, wow, what a blow to the chest. That one hurt me. Yeah, and Teresa's is determined to have a happy birthday here, Jay. <laughs> Taking Nico Angelo to town here. Good on him. He will have a happy birthday, even if he has to take, if, if he has to take a few blows to the face. Yes. He will have a happy birthday. Oh, look at this though, Lycos Jim. Disgusting oh. behaviour. Referee can't see it. This is classic Lycos Jim. It really is, and, and 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 Kai trying to solve this, but it's got to have eyes in the back of his head to make sense of this. Doris coming back in the ring, and Claire, what would you get Doris for his birthday? Present oh, wise, what, present what would you wise, buy? I don't know. Um, not like not an uppercut. No, not an uppercut. <laughs> Just a, you know, nice nice cake maybe. Yeah. Nice cake. What do you think type of cake Doris likes? Oh, he looks like a Victoria sponge man. Victoria sponge. I think you can't go wrong with a Victoria no, sponge. No, absolutely in my not. Oh, hook of the leg here. And Doris gets out. I'd go with it. I'd go. Controversial, but carrot cake. Oh, very controversial. I love a carrot cake. Yeah. I also feel like Doris knows his music, and I'd be a bit. Definitely. I'd to buy something for him, but maybe I'd go and ask him what he fancied and, and buy that instead. A concert ticket. I can't, yeah. I don't think I would be trusted to buy, con buy Doris a concert <laughs> ticket, Joe, I have to say. <laughs> oh, wow. Goodness. That's a kick and a half. Yeah, Angelo is on top of this. And I guess that is something that potentially Doris didn't take into account was that he didn't know who the opponent was. He's not been able to scout this guy out. This is absolutely true, Joe. Like, Doris just did an open call and, and Nico came out and called it. And what Doris wasn't expecting was to basically be facing one guy in the ring and two guys out. No. Oh, he's taking some... Blows to that chest tonight. My goodness me. Pin here. Pressing down on the shoulders, but Doris able to get out. But you can see him wincing in pain. Yeah, these are solid blows he's facing here. Really are. Wow, oh, big cutter there. Here we go, hook of the leg again. Just the two. I should say pin of the shoulders, not a hook of the leg. But a pinning combination nonetheless. Yeah, Doris determined to kick out there. Doris looking for reversal, but instead gets an elbow to the face. And a baseball slide. And now looking for some sort of clover. 
He's got it in. Look at that. You can see oh, on Darice's face. On Darice's legs here. A lot of pressure on his legs. He's in pain. Oh, he's not going to want to tap though. And think about this. He has to crawl over to the to the away. ring ropes. He's but miles away. From he's miles away. And miles think of the offense away. he's taken in that region. Those shoulders, the chest. To crawl along yes. using those muscles is going to cause so much pain. Yeah, no, so instead, amazing. look at that. Very smartly yeah, using that momentum. And he just gets that rope. But you can see how much pain he's in. Referee's up to four. He has to let go, and he does before the five count. Otherwise, a disqualification would have been on here. its way. The crowd really trying to get behind Jerry's here. Even though it's his birthday, and he just wanted a match. He just wanted a nice, simple match. I think he was, you know, like Doink the Clown or something like that. Something nice Lovely. and simple. Yeah, great. <laughs> But not these shots to the face and to the chest, these knife head chops. But Doris is able to reverse this one. Oh, wow, incredible stuff. <laughs> Doris back on top of this match. Yeah, amazing strength from him, brilliant. Massive, massive clothesline, and Doris. The adrenaline is rushing through his body again. Big back body drop. Therese on top. And the man from 0121 is now on top of this match. Simon's carry. The reversal and the shoulders are down. But Doris able to roll through it, but takes a super kick to the face. Oh, oh Doris wow. picks him up again. Amazing strength. Amazing. Absolutely incredible offense. And here comes the pin. Hook of the leg, two. Oh, and you can see Lycos Jim on the outside. Felt they they me. thought it was over then. Felt close. <laughs> A lot of love for Doris in the room tonight. A lot of love for Doris. Here he goes. Yeah. Top rope. He's at home up here, but he's been scouted. And this does not look good for Doris right here. But then again, what is this? Musso and Doris lands and rolls through. Work gets caught completely with that running knee. Sunset flip pile driver. Incredible. I've never seen that before. And stomps him into the ground. Angelo is on the ropes, quite yeah, literally right there. Blue Thunderbomb, two count, and a oh, two and three quarters. Goodness. Doris asking referee Khan in desperation here. Uh, was that was not a three? So close to a three count. Surely it was close. But the crowd once again on the side of Doris, giving him that extra bit of home advantage. Yeah, that's right. Doris is well loved here at Resurgence. Inzaguri to Nico Angelo. Ooh, but Doris takes another fierce shot to the face. Oh, wow. It's on the ropes, but this can cause so much damage. Oh, a lot of pressure on the back and neck of Doris here. Goodness. Four good seconds of pressure right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, face first. Electric chair. And that's on the, the very hard wooden floor here at the Y Theatre as well. Yeah, that, there is no giving that whatsoever. No give, good point no there, Claire. Top rope, Nico, frog splash, hooks the leg. Oh, so close to ruining Doris's birthday. He would have needed about 20 pints on Broad Street to get over that one. <laughs> Spoken from experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, exchanging. Goodness. That's like, actually, that is like Broad Street at midnight. 
<laughs> Take your word for that. Outside gate crashes, that is. You'd know all about gate crashes, wouldn't you? Oh, oh definitely, yeah. It's definitely my scene, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Here he goes. Here you go, Angelo, on the top row again. This is it. Wow! Misses entirely. Doriso hits the moonsault in response. Anything you can do, I can do better. Signaling for the end of the match. And he gets it. He gets it, but now goes to the top rope. He's looking for that splash. He's looking for the 450. Oh, Will he get it? Go, but his, this is the end. Jim. If Doris gets this, but look, the referee. Jim. Look, Joe, look. 450. No, no, he misses. Oh, no, no. No, not again. The baking sheets again. Not again. Um, Kai, Kai, our referee was, oh no. Oh no, no, come on, not to the second time tonight. What the hell? It's the second time in one evening. That this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, the winners of this match, Nico Angelo. Well, I don't think you can claim just that Nico Angelo won that match, Joe. That was Nico Angelo, Lycos Jim, and two baking trays that won that match. But do you know what? It has. As disgusting as this has been, that group of people in the ring standing tall have won both of their matches tonight.